All right, all right, what's happening, my kings, my queens, my G's, and my gents? Today we have a high skin taper man bun with a rounded back. We can't actually skin taper the back because there's not enough hair to taper that out, but you're gonna see that in a minute. First thing we're doing is going with our number two guard open. The reason why we're going with this is because we just want to clear off enough bulk on the side so I could really see my canvas, so I could really see where I have to start out or from, you know? Next thing we're doing is going with our trimmers. These are my personal trimmers, my personal favorite trimmers. These are the wall cordless detailers. These are amazing. I had the corded ones for a minute and I love them. What you're gonna notice about this is that I don't completely take everything off from the bottom. I still leave enough hair on the bottom so I could fade that into the beard. Another thing you're gonna notice right here is that I'm actually moving that first guideline up a little bit the reason why i'm doing this is because just in case i did go in a little bit hard with my first initial guideline when i do go in with my no guard open then i could really remove that bottom line so easily and i'm going to show you right now so right now i'm going with my no guard open and i'm going up about an inch or so reason why i want to go up about an inch or so is because you want to give yourself enough room to blend in from the trimmers which is a triple zero up to that no guard open next thing you're doing is going with your no guard halfway open and you're going right underneath where you went with your no guard all the way open right next thing you're doing is going with your no guard all the way closed using your corners you just go at that bottom line and i promise you you're gonna see it right here you're literally seeing it right here it's so easy to take out even my grandmama could do that you feel me, you feel me? next thing we're gonna do is go with our number one and a half guard and you're going open to close remember as you gradually close that lever you're gradually getting closer to that bottom line but you're gonna see right here that really doesn't do that much in this case um it doesn't really take that bottom line out and it doesn't soften it up that much either so next thing i am going to do is go with my number one guard and you know what i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna go with my no one guard open all the way to close so as i slowly get lower into that bottom line i'm gradually closing that lever as well and mind you my people it's always the same process it's always the same steps we're fading downwards y'all sure we're making we're, we're making a guideline up but that's so we don't cross any boundaries and then from that point downwards, we're fading everything down. So right here, I got my 0.5 guard or my 16th guard, and we're doing the same thing. We're going with our 0.5 open, and then we're gonna go with our 0.5 halfway open. And then underneath that, we're gonna go with our 0.5 guard closed. You see, you feel me? I think y'all catching on. After a couple Holly Clips video, you're gonna see my techniques are all the same, or they, they, they tend to be similar to most haircuts and honestly after i did my 0.5 guard i felt like the top still didn't blend in that much so instead of using my one and a half guard again i went with my number one guard and then right here i'm just using the corners to put in a little bit more extra detail work in the back i sped this up a little bit but i am bringing that number two guard closed all the way to that part the teeth of my guard is going into the hair but the actual blade is not touching his long hair it's only cutting the really short hairs that you see over there in the back and as you can see there's not enough room to really taper that in it's gonna look really weird it's it's not a good sight so what i ended up doing and talking with my client is going with a round look with a round back so i like to start from one side and then work my way in towards the middle and work my way to the other side what you want to do with this is be very careful over here on the above the ears the hook above the ears that's a very very sensitive part you could really cut someone get them bleeding call the ambulance haven't passed out <laughs> nah, I'm messing with y'all it's not that serious but you could really cut someone around this part so you want to be very careful use your corners like I said we're working from one side to the middle to the other side be very careful and try to not dig in too much into the hair into his skin I mean because my for me my trimmers are kind of sharp if I go too hard I'm going to leave a mark and it's going to irritate their skin and but after you leave your little your little lineup 
you want to take everything out underneath that. I usually flip my trimmers and take everything out. For this side, we're going to do the exact same steps we did on the other side. Except, we're not going to go with our number one and a half guard. Because trial and error. You learn from one side, you do it to the other side. You learn from one bad haircut, you, you use it into creating a new better haircut, you know? So we're going in with our trimmers again, making our guideline. Leaving enough room in the bottom, bringing that guy line up a little bit. It's the same step, y'all. Same steps. Don't make it more difficult than it is, y'all. And just because I have the same steps set down, I feel like my cuts have drastically improved in time. When I used to take an hour and 30 or an hour and 45 minute haircut now goes down to an hour 10 and then it goes down to an hour and then it goes down to 45 minutes you feel me it's just a matter of getting better with time with more haircuts and if you're in the beginning process of barbering it's gonna suck i promise y'all it's gonna suck it's gonna be so hard it's gonna be kind of a pain in the ass like yo you're seeing all these people going to different barbers getting mad cuts but then you're sitting in the chair wondering why you're not getting any cuts why it's so hard for you to get that first initial line out you know but it's all with experience it's all with experience y'all the more cuts you do the better you do the more mistakes you make the more of a learning opportunity you get to experience i promise y'all even if my haircuts are good even if my haircuts are bad i'm still learning every single day and as y'all should keep learning every day you will you'll get there you'll get to a point where you're gonna look back and laugh at all the mistakes that you've made all the little frustrations you've had kings we're gonna get through this shit together and notice y'all how we did not use our one and a half guard at all on this side of the tape up because we don't need it if you did you would have just been wasting time but we're not wasting time y'all right here i got my 0.5 guard or my 1 16th guard same process open to close you gradually close that lever as you get closer to that bottom line and if you have to use your corners as well the reason why you're using your corners is so you don't make another line so you don't push that fade farther up if you see a line use the corner to break that line up that's what a fade is you're breaking everything up it's just distorted it's not perfect that's what a fade is it's blurry <laughs> this is looking nice my number one guard you saw me do some detail work on one side you're gonna see me do some detail work on this side as well we try to make sure my boy leaves the chair feeling nice we want to make sure you're feeling good. We want to make sure you're feeling like number one. You feel me? That's what we do with every cut. That's what, that's my mission as a barber. You see the smile he just gave me? Like, he's loving the haircut. He's taking the experience. And as a barber, you're going to notice that even though your haircuts might not be that great, guess what? Your customer service is. Your experience in the chair is. You talk to your clients. Your clients like you as a person. It's more than just a haircut. It's a therapeutic moment. It's a bonding experience where you can just relieve some stress and talk your shit. You feel me? That's all it is. It's not just about the cuts. It's about how you treat people as well. Over here with the corner, like I said, be very careful. Use the corner of your blade in order to sketch out what you want. This is going to take some practice. This is going to take some practice. You might not get it on the first try, but don't be discouraged because it took me a while to get this type of shape too, to be this type of steady with the trimmers as well. Because like you've seen from my previous videos from the beginning, I've always been mentioning how shaky my hands are because it's true to this day. As I'm watching my hand right now, speaking to y'all, my hands are shaking like a motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know why I was a server either, because I dead ass dropped a corner on a cob on this one little kid. But that's another story. <laughs> Next thing we're doing is the same thing. Just imagine the trimmers as a little pencil and you're sketching everything out. And while I'm on this side of the haircut, you know what I'm doing? I'm I'm sketching out the lineup of his beard as well. 
I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. You wanna make sure it goes straight down. Don't push it too far, as far in. Make sure it's nice and crispy. But also, mind you, not a lot of people like that crispy type of cut. So you gotta make sure what kind of client you have. Some people like the more natural look. Other people like the more sharp look. So this is a matter of your client. And my favorite part, y'all, going into the hairline. I love making the hairline. Uh, this is like a make or break for the haircut. It's either you're gonna mess it up or you're gonna really finesse it. Another thing for the hairline is I go with my number one and a half guard closed with the grain just to lay down the hairs flat and also to take out some of the bulk. For most people, I wouldn't recommend really pushing a hairline back that much in order to make it look crispy but for other people you just might have to for this for example i had to trim a little bit of the tip of the, his widow's peak in order to create this nice hairline but at the same time in that little piece of, of hair on uh, that little piece of spot on his forehead he doesn't have that much hair it's actually kind of really i, I want to say like empty so you kind of got to imagine the hairline in your head before you actually go ahead and do it. I like to tap and go, go back and then keep going and then go back and then continue going to the hairline. I like using my pointer finger or my middle finger uh, as a balancing point on the forehead as well. You're going to see on the other side how I'm twisting and turning my wrist in order to get the angles that I want. And while I'm on this side as well, I'm also taking care of the mustache. Uh, I'm trying to get as much work that I can done that is necessary with my trimmers right now Just so I don't have to go back and forth and waste time I can just one and done you feel me same thing on this side I'm using both hands. I'm tapping and going. I'm going back into the hairline. I'm going outwards Just making sure this is as straight as symmetrical as it can be I don't want to give my boy the soldier boy and then have him be talking bad about me for the next two weeks You feel me? Um, but just be careful imagining it imagine it in your head first it's all patience if you have to like I do I always turn my clients head facing me because that's what's gonna give me my best results or if you have to lay them back on the chair get behind and above them and then do it that way there's so many different ways of doing it but right here we're just sculpting out his beard and I like going in very, very light. This is like trimming some bushes, y'all. Imagine you a gardener. This is, you got paid for a job and you, you Picasso right now. You trimming up the bush. You trimming up the sculpture, the rock, whatever you want to call it. Go very slow. And it took me a while to type, kind of get this, this technique going, you know? And it's going to take you a while too, but just, just look at how... It's so much better than it was before. So much more even. And then with the lineup, it's just going to look crazy. It's his first time looking at it. And <laughs> he messed it with the beard. He like it. He still has that, that foundation. He still has that main foundation underneath his beard that gives him that look. But it's crispier. It's cleaner. And it's better. Now we're moving in with our hot towel and I like adding a little bit of Barbasol on this as well Just so when we do clear off the Barbasol after this hot towel his Skin is gonna be So dry and it's gonna help me really make those razor Lineups that I want uh, This is just a babbleless hand massager right here and I just massage her face until the towel gets cold it's really a relaxing experience and anyone that's had it will let you know that they just want to fall asleep you feel me it does improve the quality of your haircuts i don't charge extra for it but it it, it does improve the quality of the the haircut experience y'all everyone wants to feel good everyone wants a massage why not With the razor work you want to make sure you're very 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 careful as well pull from any direction that you're using the razor in and keep that razor at an angle. You don't want to keep it directly 90 degrees because I'm I'm tracking you about to cut a person. You about to cut a person and that, that person's not coming back to you. Ever. Be careful. 
And I'm showing all these different angles because you gotta be at all different angles. Sometimes it's a little uncomfortable, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do in order to get that, that perfect cut. And my people, thank y'all who have made it this far into the video. I appreciate y'all. I wanna make sure y'all don't go unheard or unseen. Thank you, seriously. If y'all like the video, if y'all been liking my content, if y'all like the information that I've given y'all in this video, if y'all like me, you feel me? If y'all like your boy Hobby Clips, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Make sure to leave a little comment and make sure to share this video. Share this with your friends. Share this with your with your barber students, with anyone. You feel me? Just let the word out. Hobby Clips is in town, right? This is before. This is what my boy was looking like before, right? You know, it's looking a little, a little rough. Must a little, a little rough. But y'all not ready. Y'all not ready. <laughs> young Rico Suave, young Papi Chula, young, the young Don. Okay, why well, she's looking nice right here? He's looking good. Make sure to leave a comment, y'all. A like, a subscribe. I love y'all. Till next video. If there's anything y'all need to know. Message me, yeah? Till next time. Rack it up, rack it up. I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house. Shake it up, shake it up. She got her hands on her knees and she bringing a cake out. Smoke it up, smoke it up. I got some gas, some packs. I'm up in the greenhouse. Ball it up, ball it up. I'm with the game. We taking shots off the rebound. Fucking my posts to say now. I've been humble too long. Yeah. Tell them all to stay calm. Yeah.